In this lab, we have quite a lot of vacuum equipment. We've got this dilution refrigerator, that pump cart, another dilution refrigerator, an MPMS and a PPMS, and some ancillary equipment used for doing low temperature measurements that can involve vacuum equipment. And one of the things that happens when you use a lot of vacuum systems is you need a lot of indium wire for indium seals that then can't be reused for new indium seals because it's all squished. You have to use new indium wire each time and as a result we just accumulate indium waste. And in this video I'm going to show you melting down that indium waste. At long last the indium is melting actually started to go down. Let's poke at it a little bit and try and speed this up. Oh yeah, definitely melting. All that gasket waste is about to become a nice indium puck. It's nice that the oxide raises to the top when you melt metals. You can kind of skim off the slag if you want to. Okay, it's time to take it off now, so I'm going to try and skim off the slag as much as I can here not going to be perfect, but I can at least get a nice chunk of it off, probably. There we go. We can set it down and let it cool. Okay, so the ingot has solidified and cooled, mostly. We have finally got the indium chunk out of the beaker so it's this nice silvery ingot it's very pretty it's kind of weighty sort of fun fun thing to do kind of cool i don't know how much is here okay i've got a scale here i can use that to weigh the indium ingot let's see There's nothing on it so it should be able to tear that to zero and we can set that on top of it and we get that it's 48.3 grams. Cool.